and uh, a lot of guys have been curious on how to fix your switches on your Del Sol, the ones above the gauge cluster where they get all cloudy and nasty and stuff. I took a bunch of pictures earlier of me doing one, but they never turned out really well. They were really bright and nasty, and well, now I'm using the camera to show you a little bit better of what you do. Um, and like I said, I've already done one of these, so it's not going to be like I can <laughs> go back and make it cloudy again. So anyway, so I got a switch here. Pull them out of your gauge cluster. And uh, what you want to look for, we're going to actually take the front of the switch off. It is possible. So what you want to look for are all these little uh, tabs here like that. There's one there, there's one up here. There's one uh, down there, right there. There's another one that's hidden up here we don't have to really worry about too much. Now what you want to do, get yourself a straight small straight screwdriver and you're going to use your fingers on this. So this this tab here you're actually going to use your thumb on to pull out. This other tab doesn't have enough to put a thumb on it so you're going to use your screwdriver. Kind of like that. And we're going to pry both sides out just enough to pop them out of those little tabs like that. Okay, so you notice it's it's separated out. Next, you're going to take it and kind of pop this top tab off. Be careful because this tab does break. And once you got all those popped off, it just comes off, just like that. So we'll put this this part aside, and now we can see the inside. In fact, let me put a light on. Maybe this will help view the inside a little better. One second. Ah, look at that light. All right, so here's the front of it. This usually is all cloudy and nasty. Like I said, I already did this one earlier. So you look at the back of it. And you'll notice the little shape in here is the triangle. And it usually doesn't come out that early, fast, but you pretty much you have to you have to push on it from one side, get that loose, and then push on it from the other side. Just be careful to not break it while you're doing it. So now you got a big empty hole in where it used to be. And if you're doing like the uh, all the other lights other than the hazard one, you're going to have a little plastic piece in here that looks like that that comes out. Don't lose that piece. That's for the, the light to tell you that it's on. So now we have, oh, let's this up. Okay, good. Now we have the little card that came out. Now this is glued in on either side or, you know, sometimes around. It's, it's glued in there okay. It's not like a really tight seal. Obviously, we are able to get it out. And what I use is the cheapest freaking uh, toothpaste I can find. Bepsodent. Yeah, the crappiest toothpaste known on planet. I've got a Dollar Tree. And I used a paper towel and the Pepsodent on the top of this and rubbed it until I started getting color on the paper towel. Now, uh, it is a, a polishing agent, and it will buff the surface out a little bit on here and take care of the flecking that go, happens on here. Now, I would have cleared this one with automotive clear paint, or you can get the spray can Krylon clear or whatever clear, um, and that will uh, make it, you know, like it was OEM, and all you have to do is re-glue it back into this piece and snap it back on. And I'll come back to this. Hold on. That battery died and you know, the switch. Anyway, you can take this card after you've re-cleared it. And I mean, uh, take it outside, lay it down, clear it. Make sure you don't put it in a bunch of dirt and stuff because this glue is still tacky and you'll have to clean that all up. But you stick it back on there and I would suggest uh, after you... Uh, 
get it cleared again, just get some, uh, you can get some rubber cement, which is probably closest to the original glue that was on here. If you really want to uh, really get it to stay in there, um, you can use use uh, any sort of stronger cement like uh, super glue or something like that, but I don't suggest it in case you have to pull them out again. Then, of course, this one's not going to stay in, so we're going to have to, well, maybe it will. Then we take our piece again. There is a certain way you want to get these on. Now, uh, what I do, since we, we got the two tabs out here, is I pin them in there like that, and I come around to the, the top and kind of snap it all together. You can hear the popping from the switches. And there you go. This one did on the corner here have a broken off tab before I even got it. Um, usually the tabs look like that on that side with a little hole that pokes through it. And you got the tab here that's hidden. You got these two on the bottom that I showed you how to, to take off from that the switch itself. So that's the actual switch. This is just the rotating arm with the, the light bulbs in it. You can access the light bulbs through the bottom with a little Phillips screwdriver or straight. On to those, sell these. You can uh, get even LED replacements for it, though, you know, why bother with the little tiny bulbs? But anyway, that should give you guys an idea of, of how to get it done. Have a good one.